Hi my friends. So yesterday in our giant swallowtail update video, our caterpillar had basically reached full size and told us in his own unique way that he's ready for the next stage of his life. So where he is right now is getting ready to finish the transformation of turning into a chrysalis. I'll show you in just a second what he looks like, but what is important to note is that how he turns into a chrysalis is different than other uh, caterpillars. The monarch caterpillar, when it turns into its chrysalis, it hangs from the top of the container or the habitat that he's in, and that's how he makes his chrysalis. Giant swallowtail caterpillar, on the other hand, actually hangs off of a branch or it hangs off of the side of the container that he is in. So I'm gonna show you what he looks like and I'm going to do my very best so that you can see clearly how it is, how it's transforming, okay? So our giant swallowtail decided to hang off of the top of his container. So this is the top and he's latched himself to the side now it's gonna be kind of hard to tell but he has a really thin string that he's hanging off from so he looks like he's kind of hanging out chilling and he looks like this right now however if he is not finished transforming his actual chrysalis looks so much cooler so what I'm gonna attempt to do is I'm going to try and do a time-lapse so that you can see from this point until the finished product what a giant swallowtail caterpillar's final chrysalis stage looks like. All right, see you in a bit. Hey friends, so I waited all day yesterday to see if I could get our giant swallowtail caterpillar to do the transforming into the full chrysalis, but of course, it waited until the middle of the night when I was sleeping and it has transformed completely. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm sorry I couldn't get you the, um, the whole portion of transforming from where it was yesterday to where it is today. But I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. So here's what it looks like. See if I can get a better view of it in the light. So I had briefly sh said to you yesterday that the reason why a giant swallowtail caterpillar hangs from the side of the container or from a branch is because it is trying to camouflage in to look like a piece of the tree or the bark or the twig. So it kind of looks like the bark of the actual lemon tree, which is perfect so that no predators can get it and eat it. All right, friends, so now that we know what a giant swallowtail caterpillar's chrysalis looks like, I have a challenge for you. Down in the description of this video is a link to my Teachers Pay Teachers website. There is a worksheet that is titled Giant Swallowtail Butterfly Prediction. I want you to download it, and I want you to color what do you think a giant swallowtail butterfly looks like. What colors does it have? Does it only have one color? Does it have many colors? Does it have dots? Does it have stripes? And I want you to jot down what your prediction or what your guess for the final butterfly will look like. Now, our little buddy is going to take about two weeks until he is fully transformed and pops out of his chrysalis. So for the next two weeks, there won't be any updates on our giant swallowtail caterpillar because right now he is a giant swallowtail chrysalis and he's not gonna do much. So I can't wait to see what your predictions look like. If you're part of my class, you're going to be creating and submitting it into our Google Classroom. And if you're not a part of my class, go ahead and hold on to the prediction, put it on your refrigerator, and in two weeks, check back in with us and we'll see what the final giant swallowtail butterfly will look like and see how close you got to it. All right, see you in the next video.